how to find out the cartesian product of two graphs so this is the notation that we use for cartesian product suppose we need to find out the cartesian product of k3 with p3 so first of all what you will do is note down the order of the two graphs so order of k3 is 3 and order of p3 is also 3 here okay now when you find the cartesian product of two graphs suppose g and h what you will see is in the final graph the cartesian product you will see there are order of h number of copies of the graph g and there are order of g number of copies of the graph h so the order of the graph p3 is 3 that is the reason in the cartesian product you are going to get three copies of the graph k3 and the graph k3 has order 3 so you will get again three copies of the graph p3 in the cartesian product let's see how we can create the cartesian product then okay what you will do from this idea since you know that there are going to be three copies of the graph k3 that is order of p3 number of copies of the graph k3 so you draw three copies of k3 so k3 is the triangle and i need three copies of k3 so i will draw three copies alignment is up to you you can align it in any way you want next what you will do is label the vertices you will label the vertices of one of the copies suppose one two three fine this is one copy of k3 i have labeled all the vertices one two three same labeling you are going to do for all the other copies one two three one two three similar way same labels okay after you have labeled all the vertices like this now you see the vertices which are labeled with the same labeling so here for example these three vertices are labeled with the label one now use these vertices which are having the same labeling to create a copy of the other graph so other graph is p3 so i will create a copy of p3 using the vertices which are having the same labelings so one 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 these three vertices will be used and a copy of p3 will be created see i know how p3 looks like it is a path on three vertices so this is a copy of p3 i have got again the labelings two 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 i will use these vertices so having the same labeling two and i'll create a copy of p3 again i have vertices having the same labeling three i will use them to create a copy of p3 so this is somehow your graph the cartesian product of k3 and p3 will look like see you will be having three copies of k3 clearly and three copies of p3 also let's solve for some other graphs so here we are finding out cartesian product of c3 and c4 so first in the rough work note down their orders the order of the graph c3 that is number of vertices is 3 and the order of the graph c4 is 4 so the second graph is having four vertices so there will be four copies of the first graph okay and the first graph is having three vertices so the second graph is going to have three copies so in the cartesian product of these two graphs you will be finding four copies of the graph c3 and three copies of the graph c4 so the moment you know there are going to be four copies of the graph c3 what i will do is i will draw four copies of c3 c3 is a cycle on three vertices that is same as k3 it is the triangle so this is a c3 i will have four copies of c3 okay next what i will do is i will label the vertices of only one copy so this is a c3 label the vertices as one two three for example and use the same labeling for all the other copies of c3 as well and in the similar manner one two three in the same order i will label the vertices of all the other copies then what we will do is all the vertices having the same labeling for example these four vertices are having the same labeling that is one use these vertices with the same labeling to create copies of the other graph that is c4 so i will use these four vertices and i will create a copy of c4 c4 is cycle of length 4 so on these four vertices i create a c4 this is a c4 similarly the vertices having the same labeling 2 can be used to create another copy of c4 and in a similar manner those which are labeled with 3 those four vertices are used to create another copy of c4 finally in the 
graph you will find there are four copies of the graph C3 and there are three copies of the graph C4 that is how we create our Cartesian product. Now in this regard let me just mention a formula regarding the chromatic number. The chromatic number of the Cartesian product of two graphs is equal to the maximum of the chromatic numbers of the individual graphs. So, in order to find out the chromatic number of Cartesian product of two graphs, you individually find out the chromatic numbers of the two graphs and the maximum of those two chromatic numbers will give you the chromatic number of the Cartesian product.